I'm Sarah Squire with Adam Smith Works, and this is the Smith Questionnaire. I'm Eamon Butler, and I run the Adam Smith Institute in London. Thank you for agreeing to answer that Adam Smith Questionnaire. We appreciate it. Um, we have about 10 quick uh, and hopefully fun questions about you and Adam Smith. Okay. All right. Ready? Yes. Would you rather be loved or be lovely? Loved? Is that a trick question? No. Okay. <laughs> Or, or maybe they all are, I don't know. <laughs> uh, wealth of nations or theory of moral sentiments? Ooh, theory of moral sentiments, definitely. If Adam Smith had a dog, what kind of dog do you think he would have? Um, he wouldn't have a bulldog, he wouldn't have a poodle, he wouldn't have a chihuahua. I think he would probably have a, a, a Scotty dog. Oh, yeah, oh, sure. Scots, tell yeah. Me. Oh. What do you think is the best antidote to the torpor induced by the division of labor? Torpor. <laughs> okay. Well, Smith thought there was torpor. Oh, well, he wasn't right on everything, you know. All right, well, yeah, yeah it's a good point. Moved on. Uh, the division of labor is a fantastic thing. Yeah. Okay. What do you pursue for pleasure that was once followed from necessity? Uh, writing books, I think. Ah. Smith says that one of the times when we experience sympathy is when we share an appreciation for the same work of literature or work of art or piece of music. So what should people watch or look at or listen to to sympathize with you? Oh, well, they could read my book on Adam Smith for a start. That would be an excellent start, <laughs> yes. Um, available at uh, internet resources near you. Um, what does your impartial spectator look like? Uh, I keep him well under wraps because um, I don't want to do my own thing. I don't want to, to uh, people judging me, <laughs> especially myself. <laughs> Adam Smith warns us that too severe an application to study can bring on lunacy and frenzy. Oh, yes. Should we worry about you? Uh, yes, I think most people who do study are lunatics and, and frenzies, especially professors. Okay, so we should check in with you periodically to oh, make yes, sure you're on an even keel. You need a reality check. <laughs> right. Definitely. Definitely. Um, if an afterlife exists and you have the chance to meet Adam Smith, oh, well, Adam Smith what would you sure. like to talk about? Adam Smith wasn't sure. No, I know he wasn't. Life, yeah. But if it does, and if you're both there and you get a chance to sit down. Well, I'd like to know what he suggests that we do now because things have changed. It's a completely different world from 1773 in the case of Mars. Oh, sorry, 1759 in the case of Mars. It's a, it's a different world, and I'd be fascinated to see how he thinks it's turned out with the division of labor, which is now so, so extensive and so minute. It's yes. just uh, unbelievable. So many different professions. Uh, and uh, I think he would be amazed by it. I, I just I'd just like to see it through. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. See, I told you it was going to be easy oh. and fun. Okay. So thank you very much for answering <laughs> your questions. It was really a pleasure. It was fun, it wasn't easy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.